to a new little Florida vlog. It's gonna be more of a chilled one today, a bit less theme parks. Yeah. Uh, we're still up at half seven, but we're getting to bed about 10. Yeah, asleep sleep by half 10, so we're still yeah. getting half 10 till like half six, seven. I'll so it's half five. pretty refreshed now, pretty good to go. But more of a chilled day today, we're gonna to go to the outlet mall um, shopping at Vineland, yeah. uh, which is just off the I-4 towards Universal. So we're going to go there to where we go quite often and spend a lot of money. <laughs> it is outlet though, so it's all cheap stuff. So you've got like an Under Armour outlet. Everything is discounted, so we'll bring you with us um, and show you that. And to start with, we're going to head to Celebration for a coffee, I think. We're going to sit by the lake, have a chilled coffee, a little bit of a Starbucks, and then we'll head off to the outlet. We're going to try and get to the outlet early, A, because it's much quieter. Yeah. And B, we can try and get, there's a Disney character warehouse outlet up there and it gets very, very busy. Especially now with COVID, they are even more restricted on how many people can get into yeah. the shop. So it's even so more there's normally a queue them. outside and stuff. So we're going to try and, and plus all the good stuff goes early. So the minute you get in, by if you go in the end of the day, most of the good stuff's yeah. gone. So yeah, we're going to head down there, see what happens. And then for the rest of the day, probably come back, chill a bit. And then we might go to Universal later, maybe. We'll see, see how it goes. Let's do the shopping and go for a coffee first. So let's go. Stride on. Oh, you can't beat that morning freshness when you first come out of the villa. Lovely views as always. Nice and fresh. You get the dew on the car as well. It's just that Florida feels when you come out. And it's another gorgeous, gorgeous day for us. You can't, but those blue skies are even more blue than Tenerife, I think, Laura. They're a different kind of blue, yeah. Different Lovely. kind of blue. Yeah. Right, we'll see you at celebration, guys. Coffee time. So, you know, you're heading in when you see those white picker fences. Oh, it's uh, nice and um, dewy again this morning, all the steam coming off the lake. So, we'll see if the steam's coming off the lake in uh, celebration when we get in. That sun as well. Gorgeous mornings. This is what I like to get up early and get this sunrise and the dew and everything. Can't waste your morning in bed, can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta try and get up. So if I could pick anywhere else to live, not in Tenerife or not in me perfect spot in England or Liverpool, I'd definitely be here. Definitely, I think. Celebration specifically, you've got everything on hand. It's just so nice. Everyone's so friendly as well. Even the woman in Starbucks. The last time we came, we came to Starbucks once and the second time we came, the guy already knew our order and everything. Yeah. After two trips, people already on our rocking chairs. So we have to go and kick them off, Laura. Go tell them. Do you know who we are? Everything's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the top. Yeah, there's, we'll find some. There's yeah. plenty around. Plenty I ain't going to complain, even if we have to stand the allure. So I'm just looking at the Celebration Town map. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to, after our coffee, going to take you over to the 
Aquila Reserve. Now this has got some stunning houses on it. Uh, some massive, massive houses. So we're gonna take you across to here this little bit and show you some of the big ones, the likes of Bubba Watson's house and things, if we can find it again. I'm pretty sure it's all in this loop. Uh, they're all gorgeous, but there is some extra large ones on this section and possibly on the Artisan Park as well. Love the wildlife down here as well. You can see there's a big crane there just sunning himself on top of the hotel. You do get alligators in the lake as well. We've seen a few times. But yeah, there's nowhere crows today though, Laura. No, but later The guy behind you, Laura, with something that I need to take you around the parks with. I could do with one of them. Drag you around the Magic Kingdom. You can handle flagging me around. <laughs> get you in one of them we'd soon get all the rides done <laughs> so we're just on the way to um, that section on the map with the gorgeous houses we've got the golf course on the left which is very nice played it a few times and they've actually got one of those water driving ranges where you can hit the balls and the driving range is water. They have the golf balls that like float. Uh, that's really, really good as well, but it is a lovely golf course and uh, very well kept. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection. Lights. So we're just coming on to Acadia Lane, which is where we have some of the very in big a houses. Of a mile, you will Let's uh, shut up the Google Maps. <laughs> Loads of them do go all out with the uh, Christmas decorations as well, which is nice on the front yards. But well, wait till you see some of these houses, they are absolutely stunning. And we've actually toured a few of them when they've been for sale and they've been open houses. We've been around some big ones, haven't we, Laura? Yeah, fun. Yeah, I can definitely afford this house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this five million quid house, definitely afford it. There was that one house where he had that much artwork inside. It was the back art there. The artwork was worth more than the house, I think. Yeah, it was. And look at this one here on the left, it's lovely. Oh, yeah, that's very pretty. And they're all sort of different designs. Loads of them have the little granny annex on the side. This one's more, looks like a Spanish or Italian, that one. So what you'd find is a lot of people will buy a house, demolish it and build their own house. Yeah, a lot of them, if it's an older house, they will just demolish it and build their own. Oh, these birds oh, to get the birds out the road. <laughs> Come on. So this one here is one of mine and Laura's dream ones, 303. And at the back of that is one of the golf greens on the golf course. So it backs on to the golf course. It's stunning that. I think there'd be enough room for mum and dad to come and stay and... No, too small. Yeah. Very nice. We have toured one a little bit further down that we'll show you in a moment. But this, this whole road is just full of absolute beauties. Keep it there, Laura. I'll show them the next one. This one is also... Very nice. And Very they're all different Italian. styles, yeah. Small, again, Spanish Italian sort of style. Then it's mixed in with some that aren't, you know, Ooh, that's quite American. as ginormous. This one's nice on the right. It's got a nice Bentley uh, outside as well. We're gonna show you all the ones on this side and then when we come back on ourselves, we'll show you all the ones on the left. Now, I believe it may have been that one that we toured one time. Sure it was. It might be a little bit further down. Actually, no, it's this one coming up. Let me show you. It was this one right on the end. Again, it backs onto the golf course and it was stunning, that one. That's what we toured, that one right there. 
And that's the one with all the weird rooms. Uh, 317, we toured that. Gorgeous outside space. And um, the pool backing onto the golf course. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. Any of these houses would do me, really. I mean... This nice pink one. You know, if I've got to take one that's a bit smaller, you know, just have to <laughs> just make It's a small five-bedroom. Look how cute that one is. The nanny Alex in the back. So I'll show you the other side of this street now, and then there is another street I want to show you, which is where I think Bubba Watson lives. A few other celebrities, but I can't remember now, that have lived on here or live here. It is a gorgeous place to live. That one's it's nice, stunning. like modern Italian sort of style. They're all beautiful. Onto town with the Christmas deckies on that one. So, drop in your comments which was your favourite out of all of these so far. Do let us know which one jumped out at you the most. Was it the one that we toured was very nice or was it one of mine and Laura's favourites that backs onto the golf course here on the left? Oh, birds are out again. Oh, birds are out again blocking the road, look. Don't want us to leave, look. <laughs> That's the, uh, the town security system. They come over and ask you where you're going and they've got that. That, like Lee Evans when he says about the pigeons. Oh, yeah. Where they like bob the red because they're hard. <laughs> oh, 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 this one's always lagging. Come on. Going off the road. So, we're going to go on to the next street now and uh, show you a little bit more because there is a couple of even bigger ones, believe it or not. Now, this one, I believe, was the Bubba Watson house, I think. He has now moved now. He's bought Tiger Woods' old house uh, now. But he was on here, and I'm sure it was that one with like the stirrup on the left. But they're all stunning down here. Some gorgeous cars as well, I must say. You've got a nice, um, looks like a Dodge. It looks like the Hell, I've got a Hellcat there. Yeah, SRT Hellcat on the driveway. Nice, nice. One day, Laura, one day, you know. Ooh, this one's available, Laura, if you fancy that look. Home available with uh, zero realty. Rick winner. So you could probably find that online, find what price it was. Um, not quite big enough for us, though, is it really, Laura? I mean, not quite what we're after, is it? I don't know, that's the aspect of that. Maybe it's backing onto the golf course. It would be. It's backing onto a lake in the golf course. I yeah. can see it from here. Stunning. Stunning. And another very big one right at the end here on this little loop. We were just saying we came here a couple of years ago around this time and we came to the mall on Black Friday, didn't we? It was insane. I think we'd forgotten it was Black Friday no, we and hadn't. we got to here and we realised. But we were queuing here just to cross over the highway for ages and my dad was going mad but we did get some good deals, didn't we? Yeah, we parked, we, we couldn't park in a car park, we had to park on the grass, was it? We had to park on the grass and then we were watching, people were getting towed away left, right and centre, the tow trucks. We're having a ball. Which are private companies over here. Um, they were just loving it, making a fortune. Like the minute, they'd be sat waiting for someone to leave the car. The minute they were out of sight, they'd just dive in, hook it up, straight off. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah. We thought it was going to be mental inside, didn't we? We were like, oh my God. But then we got there and everyone was just calm. It was busy. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. It's not as hectic as we thought. It's just because everyone drives here. The parking was mental. Yeah. Um, we got some good deals, didn't we? I got yeah, two bags did, yeah. and everything, didn't I, that year? I think so, yeah. We yeah. always end up with good deals. Let's see how many good deals we get today. I know. <laughs> see what happens. We always end up spending a fortune. But we try and get stuff that we need. I wear the socks day in, day out. Yeah. And you can only get them here, the Tommy Hilfiger ones. Um the Under Armour boxes I wear day in, day out. And then and then else is sort of a bonus. We only really get stuff that we really, really need. Yeah. We try and keep ourselves reined in. Yeah, because it's too easy to because it's it's still it's cheap but it's still designer so, so it's still expensive. I've got to stop you right now. I know I've watched them. There is a cat on the windscreen of this car next to us. Can, I know. You, can you show that? I don't know. Let's have a look. There is genuinely a cat. There he is. Oh. <laughs> so 
so we're here at the premium outlet as you can see best time to come it's about 10 past nine i don't think most of the shops open until 10 but the car park is just heaven you just pull straight in park up and away you go and a lot of the shops will be nice and quiet you can see what they've got much easier at this time of the day let's try not to spend too much though i've got to keep an eye out for some things uh, for my dad he wants he likes uh, some of the golf shirts from here uh, keep an eye out for my mom and my sister wants some crocs and things so got to keep an eye out for some gifts at the same time they've got everything here oakley coach puma uh, this is where i got my mavado watch from that many of you would have seen on the channel uh, one of my favorite watches uh, one, another rotary is from here as well one another yeah. one of my favorite watches it's yeah so we're not quite open yet but i'm, I'm happy with that get in get it done before it gets chaotic and we should be able to get into the disney outlet yeah into the line at least now yeah, yeah. go and get on it so we are basically first in so we get first dibs we'll have a little mooch around see what's going on morning so we have got some of these leggings that laura likes i did spot them from the window they look quite like them thought you might like them only got extra small though but there's others it's just good getting first in because there's limited sizes on things as well crocs here 25 dollars and uh, some spirit spirit jerseys that's nice so yeah it is good getting here early because you can get in Ooh, it's a lion king one no outlets was absolutely pants there was nothing in there luckily we didn't really waste any time because everything opened at 10 so we would have had to have waited anyway we're gonna go in under armor now i'm sure we'll spend some money in here because we like it and uh but yeah outlet for disney was uh rubbish morning good thank you you success in under armor laura's got a full gym outfit we will show you all of this when we get home with everything we've got and i've got loads of me uh, boxes they were two for forty dollars but they're the coolest boxes ever men if you're interested no, they are no they're so good and they just wash and wash and wash yeah and you do buy and them all at once so you're so i've got them on from like two three years ago and they're still like brand new they just wash and wash and wash yeah. really good so we're gonna queue up and i think we should get a voucher for the shoe shop when we shop in here they give you a voucher for the shoe oh, shop yeah. oh my God. So there is a separate under armor shoe shop they got everything in here absolutely everything all the golf tops track suits and it's all discounted so we were still right you do still get geez the size of that receipt you do still get the extra 20 percent off on the shoes today so there we go we'll have a look at them later we're going to uh, move across have a little mooch around have a little look in michael kors for a minute it's a nice bag very nice have a little mooch around there's a whole loop to do so so I do love this Michael Kors coat with like a built-in stitched on. I do like that. And it's uh, instead of 350, it's only 139. It's nice that Laura. Let's have a little look in Penguin now. I've had a few stuff from here over the years. That's quite nice. It's a nice thin jumper. Yeah, a nice one so laura's just picking up some of these leggings here and the little shorts from this stand all right look at the big bag of we've already spent too much money i think So, just gonna pick up these, $89. Perfect. 
US 12, UK 11. Happy with them, they're nice, them. Laura's gonna use the 20% voucher on these Under Armour shoes, and it managed to get them in a youth size, so, so it'd be $50, but minus, I think, 40% on top, or 20% on top, it goes on size. Oh. So you're 49 99 but minus 40%, I think, or 20% off top. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna be cheap. We'll let you know what they are in the end. Let's uh, go and check out, yeah. see what they are. So on the price, it said $50 plus tax, then it got 40% off. So they were 37 with tax. Yeah. Cheap, super cheap. So we're gonna keep walking around. Uh, might have a little look in Citizen here at the watches. And then there's Gucci further around. You want a quick look in. There's Adidas, Kate Spade, and then the, the Eyes Odd shop for dad if we can find it. And yeah, keep going. Need the toilet though in a minute. That coffee's hit me. Okay, heading into Kate Spade now. So they got Laura's had a few bags from here. Let's see what we've got going on. Hello. Hello. Okay. Thank you. So there's 75% off in clearance, was that, Laura? Yeah. That's cheap. Hiya. Let's see what we've got going on in the clearance section, which is 75% off. Ooh, the Disney stuff's nice, Laura. Ooh, nice. Let's see what's on in the clearance. Some bargains, that's quite nice. So for the likes of this one, 319, but 75% off. You're looking about $100 or something. So just to show you the price, so it was 319 minus 75%. It's only $80, that bag. So it's a big, big saving, that is. So this Disney one that she loves is, how much is this? This is... Uh, 299 minus 50%, so it'd be $150 for that one. This isn't in the clearance, but still discounted. And how much are the heart bags that you like? What, you like this one? I quite like that one, Laura. So this one, 239 minus 50%, $120. And the heart ones, let's have a look. These are quite nice, actually. Do you like these? This is 379 minus 50%. You buy them all, couldn't you? That one's nice as well. And that one, there's loads. figure now and there's some lovely stuff in here i love that jacket for laura and i love the jumper mainly just in here for my socks but there is some very nice stuff in here oh fluffy jackets laura <laughs> and fluffy in them let's head over to the men's don't hear me socks at buy one get one 50 percent off so i'll be getting loads of them they are so comfy so there we go we're getting loads of them now I think I've got enough now. That's two, four, six, eight. But you do get 54 four for... Basically you get some free, don't you, with the 50% off, but I wear them every day. <laughs> Looks excessive, but again, we only buy socks yeah, here. I've worn, I've worn the last ones for two years straight. Yeah. Multiple, I wear like two pairs a day. You do. So, worth it. They're really good socks, these. If you, can, you can't get them in the UK either. They're worth it, trust me. So, did really well with the socks there. It was meant to be 110, and uh, I got an extra 15% on top of that deal just for giving them my email address. So, it was 67 in the end. Did save a good chunk there. And uh, 15, about $12 off just for my email address in. So, that was good. So, we're just in Movado, and I've spotted this Hugo Boss is lovely, the one with the grey strap. That's nice. I'm going to quickly ask how much that is. Good shop, this one. I've had a couple of watches from here. Yeah, then I think we're about done, ready to go, aren't we? We're knackered. Yeah, little break. Yeah. 
So we've finished shopping. I've just treated myself to some anti anti Anne's pretzel mini dogs and like a blue slush. I think that's like a blue Powerade. And Laura got the peppermint frozen chocolate drink thing. Yeah, that's <laughs> along those lines. Looks nice. I'm gonna go for these. Uh, mm. Nice, yeah. Yeah. I think we're done for shopping today. All done with the shopping there, really good haul, all stuff we really needed. And as you can see now, it's half 11, two hours since we arrived, and the car park now, you would struggle to find a space. So it does make a big, big difference. If you can get here for when it opens, it makes a big difference, I'd say. Back home now to the villa, unpack all that, have a bit of a chill, and then we'll suss out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Yeah. A little bit more of a relaxed one today. <sighs> the thought of going into Disney now. No. No, no not today. So, we've just been chilling out, had a little nap, relaxed a bit, done some emails. Yeah, we had a little bit of a chill um, for about two hours in the end. A little bit of a break, a little bit of a half an hour nap. You napped for longer than me. Um, then it was just the start of the Everton game, was just on there, the derby. We were 2-0 down, so I was well happy to come out. And we're heading to Universal. Looked at the app, and the wait times were really low for things like... Um, Rocket, 10 minutes. Uh, the Mummy, 10 minutes. Really low wait times. So, gonna go for it, get into Universal, see how it, how it pans out. We might even park up and go across to Islands of Adventure for a bit. Maybe, depending on how we're doing for energy and things, we may even stay for the Hogwarts nighttime castle projection show that we've never seen before. Which you've always wanted to see since you saw it come out years ago didn't yeah, we? yeah we've always missed it because we've always gone home just before it starts when we do our september october trip so looking forward to that if we can if we can if we've got the energy tonight we're definitely going to do it but whether it'll be tonight or not yeah knows. and then see what we do for dinner yeah so i looked at the clock it was about half three and i thought we best get heading down because the i4 gets really busy about five o'clock uh, so it was best to get to Universal before all the traffic kicks off. But yeah, we'll uh, see you when we get there. Today, Jurassic Park, ET, well, Spider Man. ET's just here. So um, no. Oh, Ooh. I don't know. No, maybe. Might be ET. Could be ET. All the parking in these rows are all themed to Universal characters from movies. You've got a cat in the hat, Jaws, ET, The Simpsons, and it looks like it is ET, Laura. Oh, go. no, we're in oh, Cat in the Hat. Cat in the Hat. <laughs> cat in the hat. Definitely getting all universal feels now. Cat in the Hat, 256 miles away. <laughs> $27 for the privilege as well. But soon we'll be on that moving walking. Walk the moving way. walkway, yeah, we'll be on it. I really am, fingers crossed. I'm really hoping the crowds are low because it's been so, so busy at Disney. So busy, so long waits. Really hoping we can just do some rides a bit stress free in here. We shall see. If not, we're just going to soak it in anyway, enjoy the vibe. Yeah, now I'm here, I'm feeling my universal feels, you know. Please, watch your step. 
Well, crowd levels are looking okay so far. A lot of people heading out as well. So fingers crossed, we survived the moving walkway. It's, uh, it's pretty quiet. Got your usual uh, security on there, checking all the bags and that. The usual very pleasant, done with a smile way. Not. Um, yeah, oh, it's nice to be back. It's nice to be back. You know when you see this sign that you're back, Hulk in the background. Bubba Gumps as well. Ooh. So we're going to head straight to uh, Universal and in particular Rip Ride Rocket. When it was on the app, it was only a 10 minute wait. Now if we can get on that first ride, Laura. Oh yeah. That's going to wake us up from a nap, isn't it? Well, the wake us up will wake us up. Yeah. The one we'll We've got this new Universal store to go to as well when we finish. On the way out, we're going to check out this big yes. new Universal store. Excited. And they've also got some of these little stores popped up for Christmas, I think. Now, you know you've finally made it to Universal, you can see Hulk going, you've got the Hard Rock, you've got the Universal Globe going there, and the, the arches. This is for me when you know you're here. A few people say it's when you get on the moving walking uh, walkway, that's Gaz, Incredible Wilsons, but for me it's when you get to this bit here. Got I hear the tiger blaring away, revving you up for when you get in. Feel all revved up now, yeah, Laura. Ready to go. I hear the tiger, ready to hit these lines. Oh, there's someone's got married in front of the uh, pictures in front of the Universal Globe. Very nice. A lovely time as well, sunset again. You seem to like coming to theme parks at this hour, Laura. Yeah, it's a nice time. Well, it does look absolutely spectacular with all the Christmas decorations around. Very festive. We'd normally be up there, Horror Nights VIP tour. Gutted it's not on. Look, the Christmas time is very nice. They do have the Christmas parade as well. Macy's parade, whether we'll make that today. The aim today is just to do some rides and soak up the atmosphere, break ourselves in. And then we do plan to do the parade maybe, but definitely the Hogwarts projection show. I'm gonna get ourselves in, see if we can get straight on Rocket, get myself awake. I'm all eye of the tiger now, Laura, I'm ready to go. So oh, first up it is going to be Rip Ride Rocket. Now you can't film on any of the rides at Universal, at least you're not allowed to. Some people do. We're going to stick by the rules and uh, we're not going to film them. We're just going to enjoy them and we'll let you know our thoughts when we come off the other end. Five minutes. Five minute wait. Let's get on there Laura, this will wake you up. We're going to put everything in a locker, you're not allowed anything in your pockets and then we're good to go. This one does go upside down, but there's no, it doesn't quite go upside down, but there's no over the shoulder restraints, it's just the bar over the top. Then on the screen here, you pick your song and you literally listen to a song the whole way round of your choice. I don't know what I'm gonna go for. What do I normally go for? What's that song I always go for? Uh, Glamorous by um, Fergie. <laughs> Believe it or not, it really goes well with the, with the ride. So it's probably gonna be that one. It's probably gonna be my classic, I think. Well, that was an awesome ride on that. We got front row. At some points, the G's are that strong, just sends that much blood to your head, you can't see. Yeah. Really good. I did do Fergie Glamorous as well on the way around. I, it's a good, I think it's a good choice. It does match the ride really well. Oh, I'm awake now, but front row, full on. Full on. So we're going to head to Mummy now, I think. See if we can get on that. But yeah, front row. Made up just by chance. Got on the front row there. But my head now. Wow. Laura, look what they've got here that we haven't had yet. Ices. I love the Ices here. The blue raspberry icy is the one. Yes. Yeah. Great to be back. 
I'm awake now. Let's, uh, let's get on the mummy now. Another fast high speed coaster. <laughs> Always liking the look of uh, this merch here, the spirit jersey. It's nice, turn it around. It is nice and simple, but nice. And then they've got nice teardusses there as well. And the famous ice buckets with the, the Powerades from an ice bucket just seem to taste nicer for some reason. But you pay the price for the privilege. <laughs> We will take a look in the tribute store a little bit later as well. That's normally a Halloween Horror Nights one when we're here in September. But it'd be interesting to have a look. Do you want to look at that now? Yeah. Look at that straight. Never miss a chance to go shopping, do you? No. And then you've got the big, lovely Christmas tree. A very nice and looks, it looks relatively quiet compared to Disney. But the wait times for the rides are fantastic right now. Five minutes for Jimmy Fallon. Uh, Rocket was a, basically a walk on. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really enjoying the wait times right now. Which one's that? Oh yeah, that's nice, the one that spins. I think I did spot that. Yeah. I do like this one as well. It's quite big, but I do like that. And you can personalize it. It's quite nice, but a little bit big though. But I do like it. They've done it so well. They really do nail the theming. Whether it's Christmas, Halloween, they just seem to nail it every time. So you do have to have everything in a locker, you just scan your park ticket and it does give you a free small locker or if you want a large one it's two dollars uh, per ride if you need a large locker but these ones are just free, you just scan your, uh, scan your ticket and it opens your door and there you go. So our universal look continues, we've got row one again on the mummy there, it was about a 15 minute wait but well worth it. That, in my opinion, is better than Rocky. I love that ride. Really good, intense, but smooth, but fun. Really good ride, that. You can see people are waiting now for the Macy's Parade to be along soon. We're gonna head towards, uh, towards Men in Black area, Simpsons area. Might go and do Transformers, we don't know yet. Just sussing it all out, but so far, so good. Low wait times. Uh, big plus over here as well is that you don't have to wear a mask on the rides. We will be wearing our mask in some of the queues, but on the actual rides, you haven't got to wear them. Which on the outdoor rides, like um, Rocky, is really good. It's uh, quite fresh to not have to wear one. So we're going to skip over Fast and Furious. I know it's some people love it, some people don't like it. It's not on high on our priority list, personally. So we're going to skip over that. Uh, actually, we've forgotten all about Harry Potter, so we need to check what the wait time is for Harry Potter. You forget how much there is to do here. Uh, so, we're going to see how busy Harry Potter land is. Probably quite busy, I imagine. And then we'll see. If not, we'll scoot across to maybe The Simpsons. Laura's just checking the app at how long the Simpsons ride is. Uh, Escape from Gringotts, 45 minutes, so we're not going to quite wait that long today, but we still might pop in. We're going to do that for 10 minutes, then we're going to pop into Harry Potter just to look around the shops. And you want to find Nocturne Alley, was it? Alley. We're not going to do the ride, but we're going and mooch around. And uh, yeah, this, you could do all kinds, but we're only here just for tonight, just to break ourselves in. So we'll just pick and choose to do a few bits. So next up is uh, one of the classics, The Simpsons. You oh, love it, don't you? Love it, but it sends me. Oh, it does send your head a little bit, but it is, it is good. You got a gorgeous sunset, gorgeous view across the lake, across the Transformers. Okay, so here we go, Simpsons ride. I don't know if we have to put the stuff in a locker for this one. I don't think so. I don't think we do. I think we can just keep it on us. 10 minute wait. Ah, let's get it done. Wonder and imagination that fuel 
Clark. All right. Put on these light vests. Oh, oh, conditions may not bride. Why, I'm in the best shape I've ever. Oh, 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 don't run. Take your seats in an orderly fashion, and please watch your head as you enter the vehicle. That was a good ride on the Simpsons. I do like the theming out here. You got the Quickie Mart here as well. Gorgeous sky now we've come out. But yeah, good ride on that. It was uh, literally a straight walk on again. So I'm loving the, uh, the wait times and stuff here. So we're gonna head into Harry Potter now. Uh, see how we get on. We might actually maybe even catch the Hogwarts Express across to Islands of Adventure and maybe do a couple of rides there and then maybe for tea and tahitos you can see we have, we have rough plans but you know we just like to see how we feel tea. things can change yeah i'm pleased with how much we've got done here with such little weight uh, really pleasant compared to the disney parks lovely and pleasant So here we are in Harry Potter and it is nice and quiet as well. Very comfortable. We can go around the shops and have a mooch. I think the dragon is about to uh, fire in a minute. Let's hang on, see if he does it in time. So Laura's going to go for one of these ice creams, I think. They are particularly good. Look, you can see the lines, massive. What did you get, Laura? I've got a hot caramel sundae. Turn it around. Oh, there's the caramel, yep. Yeah. Hot caramel vanilla sundae, very nice. Very nice. It's still not gone off yet. I'm going to carry on mooching around once Laura's finished her ice cream. Enjoying that. <laughs> Head into sweets and treats. I know they've got quite a few really good themed sweets. They've got the chocolate frog. And loads of other. They've got taffy there. Exploding bonbons. And uh, gilly water. <laughs> Laura's still enjoying her ice cream. And they've got the every flavor beans as well. And they do have some nasty flavors in there. They've got some uh, flavors in there, just like when they're on the movie in the train. That ain't so nice. Jelly slugs. Christmas decoration as well with the frog, the chocolate frog. I think that's brilliant. It's a really good one, that. It's nearly got absolutely soaked there. There's a spurt of water comes down, and this literally just missed me. I would have been drenched. I was in my own, own well posted on an Instagram. You can get your butter beer over here as well. But I think we're going to head out and go to King's Cross Station and head across to Islands of Adventure, Laura. See yeah. what it's like over there. So we'll just jump back into the UK. I'm only kidding. But uh, look at this, they've themed it so well, just like King's Cross Station in London. So a quick change of plan, it's a 35 minute wait for the train, plus another 10 minute ride. So we're just, we're just gonna walk. Uh, we're gonna walk yeah, across. It's not a far walk, is it? No, it's not long. And uh, it was just conv for convenience, but not worth that amount of wait. We'll wander over, maybe jump on Hulk or Doctor Dooms or yeah. something. In the front end, maybe Spider-Man, love Spider-Man. Yeah. So you can always rejig your plans. It's not worth waiting too long for that when you can just walk across. But I do recommend doing it if you're a Harry Potter fan. It's worth the wait once you've done it once. If you're in a bit of a rush, I'd just walk over. But it's good fun. We'll do it at some point this trip, yeah, I think. Yeah. But it is it is good, the train. Very good. The most wonderful time of the year. Oh, Minion Mayhem is literally only five minutes, so we're gonna jump on and do it. That's basically a walk-on, so gotta be done. I usually take 
take this time to interview new recruits one at a time, but I'm working on something really big today. We've just realised both of the parks closed at seven, so we did Minions. Um, they're both going to close at seven, it's half six now. So we're going to have a little mooch through the shop and then we're going to go and uh, get some dinner, I think. Yeah. But yeah, we didn't realise it shut so early, but fair enough. We've yeah. done uh, exactly more than we wanted to anyway so far today, so. Laura loves all these I solemnly swear shirts, including this one here. Yes, I can. What's it say? Sun activated, all oh, right, so it changes with the sun. They've got loads of great Harry Potter stuff in here. You could spend so much money, Laura's adding all kinds to her list. <laughs> we need to win the lottery. We're just at the little store leaving and there is still some Horror Nights merch left over uh, from this year and it is 50% off the shirts as well. So there is still some bits left behind from this year, they've got pins, the t-shirts, mugs, glasses. So quite a lot of stuff and as you can see, 50% off. And I think there would be the same, they have got like a permanent uh, Hover Night store in Islands of Adventure now as well. Yeah, plenty of nice t-shirts and stuff behind. Lovely views across to Hard Rock, Chocolate Emporium. You can see the strobe lights from Islands of Adventure over there. So both parks are closing at seven, but we're definitely gonna be back. We're made up with what we got done there. It's a shame you have to pay 27 to park each time you come, but it is what it is. We like staying off property and that's what comes with staying off property is hiring a car and you have got to pay your parking but really pleased with what we got done and it's far more comfortable than Disney yeah. definitely no gonna take a look in the Universal store first this is brand new to us see if there's anything in here that isn't in the others there's some Harry Potter stuff that uh, I've not seen in, in, in any of the others that's amazing Oh, yeah, more ornaments here. Did not see all of these in the uh, other ones. The book is good, the monster book. That's I, really good. To be fair, that bit was actually fluffy. This is the store I really wanted to look in after seeing it on YouTube. This is the Legacy Store, which has more of the classic things in. Classic designs, jaws, monsters. This is the one I really wanted to come in and have a look at. And it already hits you with all the really fun classic jaws merch all the classic jaws mugs there cups oh yeah there's loads in here and it's filled with all classic props from different movies you got terminator that's from the old ride they've now moved him into here an old classic spirit jerseys, like that one. Really good, that's really nice. Yeah, classic style font. Really nice. So because the park's closed at seven, everyone's just piled in all the restaurants. So too busy tonight, only a table outside and we want to go in and get the atmosphere and the singers. So we're going to do that another night when the Maracha band's on. Yeah, um, so we're going to head out now. It's pretty crowded heading out. And we're either going to go to Chili's or we're going to go to Disney Springs. You will find out in a moment. In the meantime, we're going to argue over where we're going. <laughs> but yeah, quick, great little uh, few hours that was. Really enjoyed it. Really did. So you join us at Disney Springs. Um, took about 20 minutes or so to get here. Bit of difficulty parking. They closed the surface parking that we used to use. But yeah, we're gonna do uh, Splitsville for dinner now. Is it this way? It says this way, entrance this way. It's all a bit confusing this these days with all these multi-stories and stuff. Definitely said entrance this way. Yeah, 
So we're gonna go to Spitzville, get one of our, um, I think it's a chicken poke bowl or something no, they call it. It's a spicy, hot sweet, spicy hot and spicy bowl. chicken bowl or something. We'll show you anyway. And I might get an icy with it as a drink. Yeah, then maybe we'll have a mooch around, see how we feel. Candy cauldron. Ooh, say candy cauldron, toffee apples. So we're going to pop into the candy cauldron while there's no line and get Laura's toffee apple and uh, I'm going to get a chocolate marshmallow just while there's no line because we could eat and then there's a big line when we come out so it doesn't look like they do your M&M's one anymore Laura they might have gone they might have gone we're going to have to ask them I don't know very disappointing they don't do any of the M&M's uh, marshmallows that we liked or any of the M&M's toffee apples anymore all very plain and boring so very disappointing laura they've lost they've lost a lot of money there <laughs> indeed we would have bought quite a few of them and everything they've got is pretty plain and pretty boring maybe they've taken the m m's away because they want everyone to go to the m m store but very disappointing that very disappointing yeah, I'll, be writing, I'll be writing them an email to be honest <laughs> writing an email you get on it laura you tell them you tell them <laughs> but it, yeah very disappointing um gone down a downhill a little bit the snacks not as interesting as they used to be in our opinion but hey ho let's uh, head to uh, spitzville get some dinner and then maybe have a mooch in some of the shops okay so here are our sweet and spicy chicken bowls now laura gets it gluten free and she gets grilled chicken on hers it does look amazing and you get your veggies with this as well you get your uh, broccoli with it don't you we've got chips on the way as well yeah. this is lovely this is one of our favorites so we're back home now all done we did carry on a little bit in Disney Springs, we had a quick walk across to the Christmas shop. Um, that was a little bit disappointing. They've not got any baubles in stock at all. They're having troubles getting the stock over on, did he said? Yeah, we said, you know, when are you likely to have them? It was like, it could be a week, it could be six months. They're stuff, stuck uh, out at sea or something. Um, so no baubles at all, only decorations. So that was a bit disappointing. Uh, we went to can the Candy Cauldron and they've got no more of the M&M stuff they used to do. And we did a little bit more digging and the cast member said that as soon as they opened the M&M store, they stopped doing all their M&M treats because on all those toffee apples and the marshmallows, they weren't actual M&Ms, they were fake M&Ms. So there must have been a bit of a... Hoo-ha. Yeah, think. going on. So Disney have stopped all that now, stopped any of the stuff with the M&Ms on. It's all just sprinkle stuff now. Yeah, which is a shame. Which is a shame because they were the nicest and M&M's don't even do anything like that. So it's not even like they're in competition. I, I think from the vibe I get, Disney are quite happy just doing a few basic things and letting all these other places do the fancy stuff like that. Um, what's it called? Where all these oh, Gideons. Like the Gideons stuff. and Sprinkles. I think they're quite happy letting all of them do all the hard work and they're just picking up the rent. Yeah, that's obscene. And they'll just do a few basic toffee apples and that's it. Which is strange because it's almost like Disney and Universal have swapped because it used to be Universal were quite plain and Disney did the adventurous stuff. But after going to Universal today, We've loved it, yeah. they've got way more adventurous treats and stuff like that than Disney have now. So a little bit disappointing all that, I think, in Disney. Yeah. Shame. I think so they're used to Disney being so good and now yeah. they're not, they're just mediocre now, so it's Now they're, they're trying to catch up. It's all down to COVID mostly. But yeah, impressed with Universal, with Universal, nice and quiet, wait time's really low, so looking forward to going back there now. Yeah, yes, yeah, so am I really it's, looking forward to Disney's it. Disney's just a little bit chaotic at the moment. But yeah, if you did enjoy it, please do hit the thumbs up, drop your comments as well, always drop your thoughts. We like to hear them, see what you think. Yeah. See what you think about the M&M's treats and stuff. 
and that you subscribe to the channel if you are new. Make sure you follow us both on Instagram as well. Plenty more vlogs to come. This is only day three, so plenty more to come. You done day three? Yeah, so keep following us along. I'm back good. I know. You're like in Tiring, in like a week, yeah. <laughs> Tiring. And yeah, we've got a few more accommodations to stay in and everything, so there's still plenty more to go. Um, so make sure you do hit the subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for whatever fun, action-packed day we've got tomorrow. I've got nothing planned for about me. We'll be doing something. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys.